One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the ring off. As you can see, the, yeah, I haven't got that far yet. The foam is just disintegrating on the pad. Okay, star set. T16. Here's part of the problem, this tangles up whatever that thread is, whatever that is. This is exactly what happened on my other one that failed. It's like a thread or a cloth from something, but I think it's from the unit because it's the same as the other unit. This bearing here should spin. Now, both the times I've had trouble with these, the same thread has been in both units, and I haven't used this thread, so I don't know if it's from a washer or a liner, and it tangles up inside the bearing. And the bearing must get hot over time, needs some lubrication. So periodically, really, these units should be pulled apart and these bearings should be lubricated. I'm going to put some inox in there, a good dose of inox in there. So now, notice what's happened here is this unit sits on here. And this sits in here. There's a counterweight that creates the oscillations in the circle, in the sanding. But what's actually happened is as it goes round, it's it's actually melted and got hot. So what that has actually caused, if you watch this maybe, as it goes round, it gets it's melted the plastic into a locking position. It's locking in there. So the whole thing's spinning. So what I'm going to have to do is sand that melted piece there because what's happened is the bearings got hot and melted that plastic, I think. And so I'm going to smooth this 
ridge of melted plastic off back to smooth so this can spin freely around its axis. So I smoothed it off, gave it a sand and now doo -doo -doo, rotates freely around. Good to go. She's away. One working.